Alright, now let's see if we can finish up the bumper actually. But before we do anything, I'm gonna take this bumper right here and these, I mean this fender flare and the main body. We're gonna go into local view real quick. So I'm gonna take this one and let me just, let me zoom in right here. I'm gonna zoom in to this side over here. And what we're gonna do is when you take a look at the reference image, you can see we have a tiny metal below it, okay? It's actually an extension from this bumper towards the top. I mean, we can actually use a uh, different um, like a plane we can add in a plane and use that to do that instead but I want it to be an extension from this uh, bumper right here to the top I think that would look much better so what we're gonna do is let me just take a look in here okay so we have quite a few pretty close to that area so what I'm gonna do is get over here and optimize this side to also have um, that nice so maybe we can use this edge over here this one but before we do anything okay so we have everything in place pretty much so all we have to do is delete let me take a look here yeah so we're gonna delete um this one is right underneath here so it's good but before I do anything let me take this and then this one last and I'll change the pivoting point to active element I'm gonna press S and then X and type in zero so it's straight like that so what we're gonna do next is uh, let me take, let me see, let me just go all around, make sure, okay, so I think we should rather use this, the second one over here, let me see, or the third one, let's use the third one instead, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these vertices here all the way to here, all the way to here, and we're going to delete those vertices right now. So delete. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to take all of these vertices to this one. I think that one is the right one. I'm going to delete it like that. But like I said, we need the third one, okay, not the fourth one. So all we're going to do is we're going to delete these ones as well. So I'm going to take all of these. That is the third one right there. We're going to select it all the way to the center over here. I'm going to press X and delete those vertices as well. So with that done, what we're going to do now is to take all of these, don't let it go to the center, just these ones, to that point over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to extrude it in the Z-axis. So press E and then Z, and extrude it, extrude this up the Z-axis, like that. So we're going to go into the uh, shrink wrap area now, the object data button side, and we're going to remove it from both vertex group, like that. So you can see how that is looking, it's looking really good that was what I was trying to make so let me just move it in the Z axis a little bit more so G and in Z I want to pull this up way beyond that but we have a little bit of issue here and I want to fix it so let me just go into edit mode I'm going to take all of these and let me try moving it in the X axis and see what happens so we're going to move that whole thing in the X axis like that I think that kind of fixed it yeah so that is good. Just try moving it in the x-axis and see if it works for you. So you can see that is looking great. It's an extension going right underneath this area and it is looking really really good just like the just like what we have in the reference image. I think I'm going to leave this side there like that. It actually looks nice. So I'm not going to add in an extra look at the spot. It's, I'm just going to leave it like that. So it should be pretty much the same thing on the other side. So yeah. That is looking great. That is what I wanted to achieve here. So all we're going to do next is try to solidify this area, but we're not going to be using a solidify modifier. Instead, we're going to be creating our own uh, surface. So let me zoom in right here. Let me zoom in to this point. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all these edges here. I'm going to press F like this. And then after that, I'll press I to insert the faces like that. And then uh, let me see. You can see things are crossing paths over here so we're gonna have to fix that up now after that I'm gonna bring that up this menu here up and I'm gonna disable boundary so this goes all the way to the other side so let's minimize that again and press X and let's delete the faces so time to fix some things but first let's remove this from the vertex group both of the vertex group so remove it from both and now let's fix this up uh, yeah let's fix this up so I'm gonna move in over here and Let's slide this all the way back to here. Things are starting to get slow because of the shrink wrap, but let's just let's just keep things going. But if it gets too slow for you, you can just uh, disable the shrink wrap 
and do this before enabling it again so just in case so I'm just gonna be moving things around so we can have enough space for each vertex to fit in like that you can see what I'm trying to do here move this back in here move this also back to this point I want to take this no let's slide this one down first so slide this down all the way here take this slide it down to there and I want to take this, we're going to slide it forward until the vertical one is straight, and then we're going to slide it vertically like that. So you can see what is going on. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take this vertex, the one at the very end there. We're going to take that one first, and we're going to take the one at the very end here as well, as last. Now let's take the one below it, as this one, as last. And we're going to press S and Y and type in 0, like that. I don't know if that helped. But it should have helped a little bit. Well, instead, let's give it to this one instead. Let's scale it on the y axis with this one instead. Now let's take this and move it back. I think. Yeah, so yeah. That is looking good. And. Yeah, it's looking good. So let's get in here and this, this area right here. We're going to have to remove the very edge out of it. So let me press Ctrl and R3 here so it goes all the way through to the bottom. And I'm going to take these ones here, these ones, we're going to remove it from the vertex group, both of them. So just take it and remove it from the vertex group and that should look really nice on it, like that. So you can see it's looking really great. I'm just going to move things around more so this side is much more, uh, less sharp. So let me just take, you know, I'm going to take this vertex all the way to that one. And I'm going to press W, I just extrude it, undo that. I'm going to press W and then choose space from the loot tools menu so we can space it out equally like that alright so that is looking great that is looking really really great nice so what I'm going to do next is I think we'll have to, we're going to have to try and then do the same thing all around this side ok so let's see if we can try to achieve that so first of all I'm going to take all of this um, and then uh, how do we do this Maybe if I let me deselect this one. Let me deselect this one. And let me see if I press E and then Alt and S, does that help? Well not really. So um I'm not sure how we're gonna do this, but let's let's undo that uh extrusion. And I'm gonna begin with this side of this. I'm gonna take all of these to this point. I'm gonna press E and then Z and move this up to here just a tiny bit like that and I want to take this one as the active element this one right here I want to press S and then Z until the one at the very end there is about the same height as the one next to it like that and I think we have a little issue here this one is too close so I want to move it out to here and I want to take these two oh, first let's go back let's take this edge again make sure that one is the active element and then we'll, we're going to press S and then Y so that it's slanted at the same angle as the one over there. So press S and Y and then scale it out in the Y axis until it's slanted like that. Now I'm going to remove it from the vertex group, both the vertex group. So just select each and click on remove like that. Then take these two and press F to fill in that area. So that is the first step. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to take this one from here all the way to the center. I'm going to press E. And then Y. I want to extrude it in the Y axis like that. Let's remove it from both. Let's remove it from both again. So uh, remove and remove. So I want to make this the active element. I want to press S and then X and then scale it in the X axis. So this side pulls out a little bit better because you can see initially it was flat, but now it's pulled out very nicely. All right. So with that done, um, we're going to take these two. Let me see. Let me just move this in the Y axis a little bit like that. And I want to move this in the Y a little bit as well. Oh, let me just leave it there. Let me move this in the Y rather more. And I want to move this in the Y a little bit more. So yeah, I'm going to take these two and press F. Very nice. I want to move this down in the Z axis like that. And yeah, that is looking great. That is looking very great. So we'll take everything and let's make sure it's removed. So I'm going to take all that and I'm going to remove it again. So click on remove on both vertex group like that to make sure it's all removed now just like we did with the uh, 
front area we're going to do the same thing with this side so let's add in let's add in a loop cut through the middle here okay all the way to the other end and I'm going to take the ones that are over here I want to remove it from the vertex group both vertex group so just remove it from both vertex group to have that nice bevel going but we have a little issue over here I don't know why that is happening let's see what happens if we assign it yeah so just just maybe assign that area I think it's not happening with the one below only this side up to this point the rest looks fine so let's see let's assign this one as well let's see I really don't know why it's doing that, but I would really like to remove it instead of keep it assigned. But you can see it's giving a problem. So what I'm going to do, oh, is that? Yeah, it's a problem. So what I'm going to do is let's try pulling it up in the z-axis. Okay, that doesn't work. Let me see. If I remove this as well, that even makes it worse. So I'm going to assign that, and I really don't know why this is happening. I wish I could fix it, but let's remove this too. So remove from both vertex group. It's pretty much removed. So this is the only one causing the problem. And I don't know why, but it doesn't look like I can fix it that easily. So we can just leave it like that. It's not too visible. So just leave it like that if it's giving you too much problem. And let's get on with this. So yeah, you can see that goes all around it very nicely for the nice solidify that we needed. But now we have to do one more thing is to extrude it inside again to have a much a nicer um, lip on the edges over there as well. So just press F. I hope it works. So let's take all of those edges and then press F. And I'm going to press I to insert the faces. So this is, this is a little slow. I think it's because we have some, some uh, shrink wraps going on. So just, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. Let's get rid of it. So just delete the vertices. It's not going to work. So all I'm going to do is, um, I really don't want to use a solidify here, but it kind of looks like we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. We're going to have to use it or, let me do this instead. I'm going to take all of these all the way to the top here, including these ones. All right. So let's just press E and extrude it in the Y axis just a little bit like that to that point. All right. So I'm just going to leave it here. The ones in the inner area here, I don't think they'll be relevant to, you know, fill up. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to press Ctrl and R to the middle here. I'm going to take these two and press F twice to fill that area very nicely like that. So yeah, that was what I was looking for, to have this area look more beveled than less beveled. So yeah, I'm going to press Ctrl and R to here, press E to align it with the other side. I don't know if it's necessary. You know, let's dissolve it. Let's not put anything there. Let's leave it like that. So yeah, that is looking good. So... Let's bring back the other object by pressing Alt and... No, I don't think we took it. It's in the global view. So let's go back to global view and let's take it. So this is it right here. We're going to take it and let's go into local view. So for this one, we're actually going to use the solidify to create its uh, lip. So let's add in a solidify modifier real quick. Just add in a solidify modifier like that and enable only rim on the solidify modifier like this so all that we're going to do next is to apply the solidify so just click on apply and take all of that edges that was applied and let's remove it from the vertex group so just click on remove to get rid of it now let's get over here the solidify added in a face in the middle so i'm going to select all of those faces press x and delete the faces to get rid of it so this is what we had before and just delete the faces to get rid of that imperfection so uh, what we're going to do next is let me just go over here. Let's fix this area first. So I'm going to take this one, press G twice, and slide it here. And let me see if I can move it up just to kind of match the elevation over there. Like that. So all that we have to do now is to bring these ones down a little bit. I think they are too high. So I'm going to take it all the way to here. I'm going to press. I'm going to use the arrow key or press G and then Z to move it down a little bit like that. So that should look great should look good very good so I'm gonna get over here let's let's see what can I do here 
we're going to wireframe. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R through the middle to add in a vertex group all the way on that side. And I'm going to select the outer one, this one right here. I'm going to select that whole one. And I'm going to remove it from the vertex group. So just click on remove so that bevel looks much nicer like that. So yeah, that is looking great. It's looking really good. So that's what I'm going to do with this piece pretty much so nothing more just to you know solidify it and, and add that lip to it so let's go over to the global view and let's see how this looks it looks great but we have a little bit of space of, of a space over here so we're gonna have to try and fix that so let's go into edit mode over here let me just zoom in real quick all right so it shouldn't be too difficult all we're gonna do is let me just select all of these over here all of these and let me pull in the y in the x axis each of these lines. So let's pull the whole thing there. Let's see how nice it goes in there. But you can see it's intersecting at this point. So I'm gonna have to pull those sides out a little bit. But first, let me move all of these in. Go into wireframe. We're gonna deselect this one because it's pretty much close to it already. I'm gonna move the whole thing until this one is pretty close to it too. Get into wireframe, deselect it, solid view. And I'm gonna move this out this time. So I'm gonna pull it out. Like that, go into wireframe, deselect it, pull it out like that. Let's rotate it in the Z axis a little bit. Let's pull it out a little bit more. So, yeah, there we go. Now, I'm going to move over to this side. Let's take all of these again. And let's pull it out a little bit like that. Into wireframe, take it again, this one, and pull it out a little bit. So, yeah, that is looking good. Now, let me just go over here. I'm going to take all of this, pull it in the X. And then in the Z, no, Control Z, and then in the Z, like that. So yeah, I can see that it's fitting quite nicely. Let's fix this area. There's a little bit of a gap. So going to wireframe, select all that, moving in the X axis, and let's move these in the X axis as well. So move those in the X axis as well, and finally let's move this one to a little bit. Into solid view, we pull that out a little bit. Nice. I feel like I should do the same with these ones as well. Just pull those in as well, a little bit, each of them. Pull this in, just a little bit, like that. So yeah, I think that is looking great now. So I think we just finished off the bumper. There's nothing more we'll be doing on it, except there's a uh, little light here that uh, shine on the number plates, and also the inner lights over here. So yeah, we'll be making those in another video, a separate video. For now, I'm just going to end it here and leave the rest for the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next video.